The Dragonfire Laser Air Defense System represents a significant leap in Britain's defense capabilities as it transitions from research and demonstrator phases to operational deployment within the Royal Navy. Dragonfire is a 50-kilowatt class laser-directed energy weapon designed to deliver rapid, precise, and cost-effective defense against a variety of aerial threats, including drones, missiles, mortar rounds, and potentially artillery shells. The system is the result of an extensive collaborative effort spearheaded by MBDA UK, with critical contributions from Leonardo UK and Kinetic, all under the coordination of the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory of the UK Ministry of Defense. Britain's Ministry of Defense has initiated a procurement for the first two Dragonfire laser systems, reflecting a concrete step towards integrating these advanced weapons into frontline service. The contract is valued at up to £240 million for the pair, with the award period running from November 3, 2025, to March 31, 2028, and an optional extension to December 2032. This initial batch is classified as shipboard units, and is specifically intended for installation on Royal Navy vessels. The procurement will deliver two systems initially, covering half the target to equip four Royal Navy warships with Dragon Fire by 2027, a goal set by the UK government earlier in the year. The funding for Dragon Fire falls within a broader increase to the UK defense budget, particularly a £2.2 billion allocation announced in the spring statement, with Chancellor Rachel Reeves describing the investment as a down payment on reaching a target of 2.5% of GDP spent on defense by 2027. Within the latest major defense spending plan, nearly £1 billion is earmarked specifically for directed energy weapons, including the Dragon Fire system supporting both ongoing technological innovation and wider industrial employment in the UK. Dragonfire's technical edge is founded on its ability to deliver concentrated laser power through spectral beam combining architecture, merging the output of 37 fiber laser modules to achieve a near diffraction limited 50 kW class beam. This architecture allows for precision targeting, reportedly equivalent to striking a one-pound coin from a kilometer away, supported by adaptive optics ensuring beam stability despite atmospheric disturbances. The turret houses both high-precision beam-directing equipment and an integrated electro-optical suite that enables tracking and targeting at high frame rates, stabilizing the target even as it moves or as the ship experiences the effects of sea motion. Low cost per shot each firing is estimated at less than 10 pounds, dramatically undercutting the cost of traditional interceptor missiles that may cost millions per engagement. Deep Magazine The primary limitation for Dragonfire is electrical power, not physical ammunition, allowing for rapid, repeated firings as long as adequate shipboard power is available. Operational Flexibility Dragonfire can ablate structural material on enemy drones or munitions or, if focused precisely on a warhead, potentially detonated. Integration and automation. The system is paired with advanced command and control developed by MBDA, with Leonardo providing beam director optics and Kinetic delivering the fiber laser modules and beam combining technologies. Scalability. While current platforms are 50 kilowatt class, the technology is designed to be scalable for future increases in output, extending operational capabilities to more demanding targets. Following successful developmental firings, including a UK-first high-power engagement of aerial targets at the Hebrides range, the MOD made the strategic decision to accelerate Dragonfire's transition from demonstrator to operational system. Previously, frontline service was anticipated by 2032. Revised plans now set 2027 as the first deployment date. The Royal Navy's Type 45 destroyers have been identified as the initial platforms, with procurement and integration plans specifically targeting these vessels. There are six Type 45 destroyers in service, and four will be equipped with Dragon Fire in the first stage. The procurement contract ensures the first two shipboard Dragon Fire units are delivered within the 2025 to 2028 window, with full operational integration on four vessels slated by 2027. The system's deployment is considered a central element of the UK's new multi-layered naval air defense, 
alongside planned upgrades to traditional missile systems such as Sea Captor. Strategic Context and Rationale The strategic impetus behind Dragonfire's accelerated rollout is the rapid evolution of aerial threats seen in global conflict zones, including the proliferation of cheap drones and advanced cruise missiles in Ukraine and the Middle East. The UK government recognizes that high-cost, limited stock missiles are unsustainable as primary defense options against low-cost mass threats, making a low-cost per shot. Deep magazine, defense like Dragonfire a critical component for future resilience. Additionally, integration of such technologies aligns with NATO innovation strategies and advances sovereign UK capability in high-technology weapons. Industry Consortium and Development Partnerships the Dragonfire Consortium is one of Britain's flagship industrial collaborations in defense technology, bringing together MBDA, Overall Integration, Command and Control, Leonardo, Beam Director and Precision Optics, and Kinetic, Fiber Laser Source and Beam Combining. The MODS DSTL has been instrumental in contracting, orchestrating trials, and ensuring that technical and operational requirements are met. This consortium approach helps maintain and grow critical defense skills and high-tech jobs within the UK. Technological and Operational Challenges Integrating Dragon Fire onto existing warships presents technical challenges related to size, power supply, and robustness for continuous maritime use. The system must have enough clear deck area to maintain a wide firing arc while connecting seamlessly to shipboard power and cooling systems. Further, Design efforts are dedicated to ensuring the system is ruggedized against shipboard vibrations and the harsh marine environment. These challenges are being addressed through iterative design improvements and close partnership between industry and MOD stakeholders. Broader Defense Transformation Efforts The Dragonfire Procurement is part of a landmark £5 billion technology investment package, which includes over £4 billion dedicated to autonomous systems and another £1 billion to directed energy weapon development. This initiative also aims to fast-track the fielding of advanced capabilities, create hundreds of skilled jobs, and position the UK as a leader in military technology exports. Beyond the Royal Navy, further Dragonfire or derivative DW systems are anticipated for development for land-based and future Air Force applications, supporting a comprehensive, layered defense across all military services. Fire and at-sea trials expected through the end of the current decade. Additional vessel integration, software refinements, and potentially expanded land and air-based variants will be guided by data and experience from the initial Navy deployments. There is also interest in leveraging Dragonfire technology to support allies, including a potential transfer to Ukraine under recent MOD plans. Conclusion Britain's order of the first operational Dragonfire laser air defense systems is a transformative step in the modernization of its armed forces, reflecting both technological innovation and forward-thinking defense policy. Through rapid procurement processes, robust industry collaboration, and substantial funding, the UK is on track to become the first European nation to field high-power laser weapon capability at sea, setting a benchmark for future multi-domain air defense. Dragonfire's deployment promises to reshape the balance between cost-effective defense and rapidly evolving threats in the maritime battlespace and beyond.